This video shows how to set up our landscape drip kits. Each kit is complete, meaning that no extra parts need to be ordered to make this kit functional. Our landscape kits have been designed and tested by drip irrigation professionals to ensure that each kit has everything needed to create a properly working drip irrigation system, as well as making sure you don't end up with a lot of parts you will never use. Landscapes normally have many different kinds of plants planted in them. Our kits recognize this fact and include different watering devices so that you can effectively water all the plants planted throughout your landscape. This will demonstrate how to water a single plant using the parts in the kit. Start by punching a hole in the mainline tubing near the plant to be watered. Attach microtubing to one end of a quarter inch barbed coupler. The other end of the barbed coupler is to be inserted into the hole that was punched. An installation tip is to heat the end of the tubing with hot but not boiling water. This softens the tubing, which makes fitting insertion much easier. Take the barbed end of the dripper and push it into the opened end of microtubing. To anchor the dripper at the base of the plant, a stabilizer stake is used. Push the tubing into the V of the stake. Then push the stake into the ground near the base of the plant. Micro sprinklers are a great way to cover a lot of area in landscapes. Each sprinkler comes with a barbed microtubing lead that is used to attach the sprinkler to mainline tubing. Start by punching a hole in the mainline tubing. Insert the barbed end of the microtubing tail into the hole that was punched. The sprinklers come with an oversized barb, which fits into any hole created by our hole punch. However, the barb is too big to accept any of our quarter-inch microtubing, thus the sprinklers must be attached to mainline tubing. Next, push the stake into the ground. These microsprinklers only come in 360-degree spray patterns. Keep in mind that microsprinklers use a lot of water. Too many can overtax your system. If you need to use many of these, we recommend creating multiple zones within your landscape. The next watering device included in this kit is a 180 degree adjustable spray jet on spike. These cover a lot of area and are ideal when a landscape bed runs along fences or other areas that you don't want to spray water onto. To install, punch a hole into the mainline tubing. The barbed end of the stake can be pushed directly into the hole that was punched in the mainline tubing. If the stake needs to be placed away from the mainline tubing, use microtubing and a quarter inch barbed coupling to do this. To adjust the flow rate, simply rotate the knob left or right to increase or decrease the flow rate. This kit includes adjustable drippers on spike. These can be used to water potted plants located nearby or inserted directly into landscapes next to water hungry plants. Start by punching a hole in the mainline tubing. Twist off the barbed connector provided with the dripper. Push it into quarter inch microtubing. Take the free end of the barbed connector and push it into the hole that was punched. Trim the microtubing to the length needed. Push the tubing onto the barbed outlet of the adjustable dripper. Remember, adjustable drippers use a lot of water so it is best to use them sparingly throughout your system. To increase or decrease the flow rate, simply rotate the head of the dripper left or right. They can be completely shut off or adjusted up to 10 gallons per hour. The last watering option to demonstrate uses quarter inch drip line to water densely planted areas which are not planted in a straight row. Again, a hole needs to be punched in the mainline tubing and a quarter inch barbed coupler will connect the quarter inch drip line to the main line tubing. The quarter inch drip line will be weaved through the plants in an S like pattern. Stabilizer stakes will be used again to anchor the drip line into place. One is needed at each turn of the drip line. Continue to weave and work the drip line as close as possible to each plant. Remember, 
the maximum run length for quarter inch tubing is 30 feet. If a run greater than 30 feet is needed, then half inch or larger tubing is required. Trim the drip line to length with a pair of scissors. The end of the quarter inch drip line will need to be capped off with a goof plug. Push the tubing completely over the barb of the goof plug. Need more help? Our friendly and knowledgeable customer service staff are more than happy to assist you with your project.